In this video, we're going to actually convert our Unreal Engine 4 project over to Unreal Engine 5. So I figured, one, this will give people a rough idea on how to actually convert their projects from Unreal Engine 4 to Unreal Engine 5, at least on a basic level, because obviously there can always be complications, but it would be pretty much impossible for me to co cover every single complication that there might be. So one thing we can do is, assuming you have Unreal Engine 5 installed, you can click on your project, hit open, and you can pretty much set it up this way. So if we open more options, we can open it as a copy. So we create a copy project to work with. We can convert in place, which will pretty much overwrite everything. You know, I'm in the wrong folder. The, I'm being blind as a bat, here it is. Convert everything inside of it. Or we can skip the conversion, which I don't even know what all that would even do. If that would even work. But regardless, we're going to hit open. And normally, if this is a product you wish to, you know, be safe with, you would hit open a copy. However, I do not really care because this is a tutorial project and we have done very little. So I'm just going to right click, switch Unreal Engine version, and select Unreal Engine 5 EA and press OK. All right, that's pretty fancy. So in that case, let me try doing it this way. Okay, I'm going to select my project, open. Well, that just did something. Doing something in the background. So, it says it has that selected. Um, yeah, I guess I'll see you in a minute and see if anything happens. Okay, so if nothing ended up happening, so what I did was I right-clicked, switched the Unreal Engine version back to 4.26, open Unreal Engine 5 again, Select the project, open, and I'm just going to open a copy, and with any luck, that will work. So, I'll be right back once it's done. Okay, so it has completed. It automatically opened and everything like that. I'm just going to ignore everything related to Steam VR. I'm going to go ahead and click Update. Not sure what that's going to do. Click Manage Plugins and search for VR, as I want to confirm that my VR plugins are disabled. And I'd say we are pretty much good to go, so I'm going to save all. And I'm going to close, and if we go back, we can see we have the exact same project name with 5.0 at the end. So I'm going to open that and open up the project solution. I'm going to go ahead and do mine in Writer, and I'll be right back once it's done. Alrighty, so it's going through and it's parsing all the files again. But we have pretty much everything like before, so I'm going to go ahead and open everything back up and launch it through the IDE, and we are good to go. So now, we have pretty much everything we need. So we can press Control space to open and close the content browser. We have the new UI layout, which honestly I have not really tinkered with much, if at all. So me working through Unreal Engine 5 is gonna be kind of a learning experience as, well, I go through and try to teach it. So for the most part, I can tell you this right now, nearly everything we do is most likely going to be the exact same as if it was done through Unreal Engine 4. So that goes for any sort of, well for the most part, any animations we may do or any systems we may create in this tutorial, they would be the same inside of Unreal Engine 4. We're just doing it in Unreal Engine 5 with a new interface. So there's nothing really special when it comes down to that. So we can go through, we can look back at our item, we can see, dang nabbit. Okay, that's one thing I'm not a huge fan of. I like how I can slap it up to the top on a religion four, but that's not a big deal. We have our item data structure, everything pretty much all the same as it was before. So we are good to go. Now we have our project on a religion five and we can go through and continue. So with that in mind, if you like what I'm doing and you want to help support me, you can find a link to my Patreon down in the description below, where I have a Team Deathmatch series just for Patrons, as well as you get early access to pretty much all of my videos, such as this one. If you have any questions or anything like that, feel free to join my Discord that's also linked down below, and I'll try to help you out. So, I'll see you in the next video.